welcome to Bazaar's Primary Performing Arts. Today, we are doing a fun lesson on character and costume. We're going to transform ourselves today by taking a costume and creating a whole new character that matches that costume. And as always, we start off our lesson by looking at our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, we aim to, one, create a character that matches a prop or costume, two, transform ourselves into this character by changing our voice, face and body, and three, create and perform relevant dialogue as our character. Now dialogue means spoken words. So we're going to create and perform spoken words that are relevant to our character. Now here's the curriculum links for your teachers. They can pause and read these, but we're going to move straight on and into the lesson. Let's start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. What is performing arts? Well, you know, performing arts is anything creative and structured that is performed in front of an audience. Singing, dancing, acting, circus, music, they're all types of performing arts. So let's look at costumes and what the purpose of a costume is in performing arts. Costumes are used to help enhance the character when on stage and it helps the audience understand the character more. Costumes don't have to be fancy, guys. They can be things you just have lying around the house. Look at the costume now that's on the screen. That is made from a paper bag. The kid's just wearing a paper bag on his head. So you don't have to have fancy costumes. One thing you have to make sure is that your costumes must match your character when on stage. Now I'm going to act out some examples with costumes now and you'll see how the characters I've created have directly linked and matched my costumes. So remember, a costume doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could just be something you have lying around the house. So here we are. I'm going to use this one. All right, oh, I'm wearing it inside out. That doesn't help. Okay, so I've got my costume on and the first thing I'm going to do is think about it. I'm going to think, okay, what sort of person could I imagine wearing something like this? And then I start to think about my character in my head that might match this. I'll think about a name for my character. I'll think about how old my character is. I'll think about what that character might do or what they might say that matches this costume. Once I've decided who my character is, I have to think about how my character will behave. What will my voice sound like? Am I a nice person? Am I a grumpy person? And that will help me really flesh out my character. So I'm going to give you an example now. And I'll give you an example of what sort of junior and sort of middle primary students might do. So they need to say their name, their age, something interesting about their character. And then for the middle primary, like year three, four students, they also need to present a conflict or a problem that their character is having. Let me give you an example. Okay. Right, everyone, listen up. My name is Tom. I'm 44 years old and I work for safety. My job is to be a safety manager. Oi, you, are you being safe? You right there, are you being safe? Oh, I hope so, that's my job. My job is to keep everyone safe. Everyone, stop, be safe. Now, lots of people don't like me because I'm a bit bossy about safety, but what I say to them is tough, tough cookies, stiff bickies, I say, because I do my job and I understand that I annoy people because people don't like being told what to do. But it's something I just have to accept. It's a sacrifice I'm going to make to keep everybody safe in my community. So there you are. I told you my age. I told you my name. I said something interesting about me, about how I worked in safety. I was a safety manager. So that's what you have to do if you're in junior primary. Pre-primary, year one, year two. You'll say your name, age, something interesting about your character that matches your costume. I also added on an extra bit at the end that the year three and fours will about conflict. So I started talking about a problem my character had and the problem was that a lot of people didn't like me because of the fact that I was so safety conscious that made me quite bossy. So I added that on. Now I'm going to give you a different example with a different costume. In fact, I'm not going to use a costume. I'm going to use a prop. 
A costume is something you wear, a prop is something you hold. So, I'm going to give you an example now of what a senior primary, so year five and six might do. Now they'll do the same thing, name, age, something interesting about their character, a conflict as well. There is an extra challenge that the year fives and sixes can do, but in order to do the extra challenge, you need somebody else. And of course, I'm a loner, I'm all by myself. So I can't do that extra challenge as an example for you. But let me show you now what character I could create with my prop. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Hi, my name's Sally, I'm 16 years old, and I am stuck babysitting my little sister again. Oh my gosh, it is so annoying. Every day I get stuck babysitting this. Oh my gosh, my baby sister, it's so boring. Why do I get stuck doing it? All my friends get to go out, they get to go to the shops, you know, they're on their phones, they're on their Facebooks, and I'm stuck here with my boring, boring little sister. Why does this always happen to me? Thanks a lot, mum. Thanks a lot, dad. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, guess I have to change the nappy again. So I just created a completely different character now that matched this prop. I changed my voice, I changed my face, I changed my body, and I made sure that my costume, or my character, sorry, matched my prop. So remember, you wanna say your name, age, something interesting about your character. If you're older, you then wanna take another step further and add a conflict or a problem that your character is having. So that is an example there for you. Hope it helps. All right, that is an example. Now let's look at your task. You are going to create a character that matches a prop or costume. You are going to act as this character, making sure you change your voice, face, and body. And you're going to create and perform relevant dialogue as your character. Now you can challenge yourself and try and speak as your character for as long as you can without stopping to think. The older you are, the longer you should be able to talk as your character. And just a reminder of your job, every year level has a different job. So remember, if you're in junior primary, pre-primary to year two, your character needs to say their name, how old they are, and something interesting about their character. Make sure it matches your costume. Now, middle primary, year three and four, same thing, your name, how old you are, something interesting about your character. But remember, introduce a conflict, a problem your character is having. Remember, your character must match your costume. And then we move on to senior, year five and six. Everything the same as the other year levels, but you are expected to speak longer. Now remember this additional challenge. You can get someone to interview your character. Now that person that you ask, whether it be a parent or a friend or a teacher, they will ask you random questions and you have to answer those questions as your character. Now you have no idea what they're going to ask you, but you have to think on your feet, improvise, and answer the questions as your character. So that is your additional challenge because you're old. Enough talk, let's give it a try already. Now of course the first thing you're going to need is a costume or a prop. If you are at home, you can use anything guys. You can raid your mum and dad's wardrobe. Well, make sure you ask first. You can use anything. Remember to think about your costume. Then practice what your character is going to say and then perform. Good luck. Don't forget to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Make sure you always self-reflect. Double check those aims. Have you achieved those aims? Read them, double check. Now we're coming to the end of our lesson, guys. Hey, do you want more? Well, here's an extension opportunity for you all. Here's an optional activity you can do. Take one costume or prop and create four different characters. Now all the characters must match that costume or prop, but all four characters have to be totally different. A real challenge there, see if you can achieve that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this Pizzazz Primary Arts lesson, guys. There are heaps more drama and music lessons if you go to our YouTube channel, Pizzazz Primary Performing Arts. Hope to see you there. And remember, the whole world's a stage, and the stage is yours.